Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime Podcast, episode 21, baby! Holy Ooh, crap. It's old enough to drink. 21, right? <laughs> yeah. Finally, I remember when I was 21, let me tell you. How about you, Eric? You remember when you were 21? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, 30 uh, years ago now? Kind of boring. Well, when I turned 21, I my parents got me a bottle of UV Blue and a 24-pack of Mountain Dew. And I sat in my room at my parents' house and drank that whole bottle and all 24 cans in one night by myself. <laughs> and let me guess, you were tweaking like a mofo. No. No? I passed out at one point. I was playing uh, GameCube games, actually. Ah, nice, nice. Um, I think I was playing Wind Prince Waker? of Persia, actually. Um, no, I wouldn't make her. Prince of Persia. Uh, Sands of Time, maybe. Nice. Back in the day when I used to love that game. Um... Anyways, <laughs> this week, obviously, I have, as always, Mr. Eric Moore. Hello. And joining us back again, second week in a row, technically one of the original members of this podcast. Yep. Mr. Darren Har. Back again. I, 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 I guess never. Who's back? I will never stop coming back. Mm. I will always come back. Darren's back. Oh, oh, baby, oh. come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, we're <laughs> back again. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yes. All right. Um, I'm trying to look at what the first topic was for this week because I don't remember what it was. Has something to do with nothing. Oh, that's right. It has to do with the NES, or oh, I should boys. say the SNES, the because the SNES uh, Classic Edition is apparently a thing. If you want to believe your old gamer, they are reporting that the. Super Nintendo Classic Edition is in production right now to be Which, released. Which, by the way, everyone is assuming is fact when it's really just one report from Eurogamer who has been wrong before. And has also been right on everything yeah. to do with Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's worth noting they were right on all the stuff on Nintendo Switch because they could be using the same sources. Right. So uh, they were the right same on sort, everything. Like, all... I remember they had reported on some Pokemon launch title for the Switch that never happened. And you Pokemon Stars? Yeah. Well, um, no, that they, mean... said, they said this, yeah. there was some sort of Pokemon title that would launch with the system, if I remember correctly. If not, then... Oh, me. no, I just remember them, them, they were, them and uh, Emily Rogers and a couple others just were talking about Pokemon Stars, and that was supposed to come out at some point this year. Um, which, again, basically if it doesn't show up at E3, well, all right yeah. then. Yeah. Then it's not a thing. Um, but anyways, they were right about all the hardware stuff, and this is dealing with hardware, so who knows. Again, I, whether or not Eurogamer is correct on this, I think it's undeniable that an SNES Classic Edition would come out at some point anyways, because the NES Classic Edition was way too popular. So popular, they canceled it. Um <laughs> <laughs> yes but clearly they're gonna they're gonna release this thing eventually whether it's this year next year three years from now um they they found something with that nes classic edition that i don't know that, that they thought they had and they're gonna clearly keep taking advantage of that nostalgia factor um for what people find typically to be good price i mean the nes classic edition came out at 60 bucks for 30 games uh, with hdmi so like that alone was enough for people to be like oh man Let's go yeah. back in time, baby. Yep. Um, so, whether or not this is true, we're going to work on the assumption that this thing's coming out someday. So, what games do we want to see on this system? Um, and I guess I'll go first since I usually go last. Asteroid Boy uh, Omega I, Factor. I know it's a GBA game, but put it on there. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get used to him saying that, folks. I have a feeling he's going to bring it up in, like, every topic. Um, so, personally, obvious, the most obvious answer is my previous favorite game of all time, now number two on my list behind Breath of the Wild, Secret of Mana. Love to see that on there. Uh, and because the NES Classic Edition had third-party games on it, not just Nintendo games, it is possible that, like, a game like Secret of Mana could, could be seen on it. Um... Beyond that, I, I think the door is really open. You know, Nintendo-wise, I think we'll see a, a Super Metroid. I think that's obvious. That's one of the most popular Metroid games ever, the most popular 2D Metroid. And uh, the SNES really brought that to life. Um, I, I think it would be interesting, and, and this is just my personal thing because this isn't necessarily specific to the Super Nintendo platform, but I would love to see 
the SNES. Oh, I'm sorry, not the SNES. The Mario All Stars mm. come to it. Now, Mario All Stars was a collection pack of games, and it's interesting in that uh, none of the games were really exclusive to um, Super Nintendo. So it's like a lot of NES games, but uh, I don't know. I, I just loved Mario All Stars, and plus you got Lost Levels with it, which did not release on the NES at all. Um, you know, obviously Super Mario World. Uh, that's that's a dead giveaway. I mean, it's one of the best Mario games of all time. That's got to be on the platform flagship flagship title. Um, and then obviously, like Only to the Past, again another flagship title for the Zelda series. Uh, SNES is kind of where whatever series they made for the NES started to really pop. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have some of my other personal favorites which aren't going to happen like I want to see the Lion King on the platform don't think it's going to happen I mean it did happen back then but now there's all these licensings and Disney and Disney and Nintendo don't really work together anymore so I don't see that happening um, in fact Disney doesn't even really want to make games anymore so outside of Star Wars that they have with Electronic Arts and then they still have Kingdom Hearts with Square Enix um, beyond that there isn't a whole lot that I personally want to want to really really care to see in the platform it's weird because super nintendo is like my favorite generation of nintendo consoles because like every game released on it just felt like excellence i mean, remember home alone and home alone 2 on there yeah like this was like the heyday of movie games being good yeah right. so i would like to see at least some of those movie games come over uh <laughs> if they can figure out the licensing deals for them um fighting games really started blowing up at this time um street fighter was was huge on this platform um I mean, you know, I, I just keep thinking back to that, that day, and uh, the only real, I guess, glaring omission is maybe, like, Mother 3, but that hasn't come to at all to the United States, so maybe this is an opportunity for Nintendo to do it. Hey, hey. Yep. You, you sell this thing for 80 bucks, but include Mother 3, people are going to buy it. Um, you sell it for 120 said. and include Mother 3, people are going to be all over that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, um, so... That, that's kind of what I'm bringing to the table, which I know just took off a lot of the super obvious games. Um, but obviously the super obvious games have to be on there, plus Secret of Mana, which I, don't, I honestly don't know if they're going to do that, but um, why wouldn't they? That game's amazing. Uh, let's hop on over to Darren. Is well, there any Nate, Super Nintendo games you'd like to see on this beast? Well, Nate, uh, you suck because <laughs> you listed the two games that I would be interested in playing because i have not played uh a lot of super nintendo games uh i've played way yeah, more NES games, your time. but <laughs> for some reason i haven't played a lot of super nintendo games so a link to the for past because gotta have me some zelda uh and super metroid because i mean it's super metroid so i mean other than that i mean secret of mana yeah um I'd love have to see Mario All Stars, but like I can't think of anything that you haven't mentioned, so that's why well, I said you suck. <laughs> have Have you Have you played Secret of Mana? I have not, but I want to. Like I've okay. heard only good things about it. Yeah, if it's one of those games that if you really, really love Zelda, you're gonna love Secret of Mana. Mm -hmm. okay. It's It's like what Zelda would have been if it was an RPG. Mm. Um, which in, in a lot of ways, I guess, has some correlation to Breath of the Wild, but not quite as much exploration. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways, so you're, you're going to love that. In fact, I'm going to have to have you, um, someday, uh, if you can get out of your parents' house, come, uh, live stream Secret of Mana first time playthrough. Oh yeah. Let's do it. I'll sit down with you and, uh. Oh, we can, we can even find one of the extenders and we can all three play. Oh, that would be nice. Do a three-way stream. That'd be yeah. sweet. Um. So, we're going to toss this over to Eric. Now, of the three of us, I think it's important to note that um, I personally grew up with a Super Nintendo. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, there was an NES that was kind of at the very beginning, but it was my dad's. The Super Nintendo was mine. Um, so, that's the primary system I grew up on leading into the N64. Uh, so, that's probably why I was able to list off a, a whole bunch of games. I don't. You had to look up some stuff. I didn't even look up any of the games I'm talking about. I just know about them because I owned them. Right. Um, and there's plenty of games that I don't own that, like, if you ever look at, like, the greatest SNES games of all time, there's a whole bunch of them that I've played and don't own. You right. Don't, and, and you're going to probably bring up some now that I'm going to be like, oh, my gosh. Like, I just thought of one right now, Jurassic Park. Yeah. 
But again, another movie, but, yeah, movie bring, game. I wasn't going to bring that one up, but um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so what do you got for me, Eric, over there? Because okay. I, I think you. So you I were... got some. I got some different ones actually Ooh, from from, all, from you guys. Uh, it definitely, all the ones that you brought up, great titles. Would love to see. Well, gotta remember, there might be up to thirty games on this piece. Right, so. right, right. Any one of the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Countries. Oh. I don't know how the heck oh, you get that with Donkey that. Kong Country. Oh. Uh, I'd like to see Super Mario RPG. That was a fun one. Uh, Mega Man X. Oh, or any of the Mega Mans, that too. Really. I Mega just had Man a conversation with someone the other day about Mega Man X. It's on like the, the best Mega stuff. Man, I it swear. Is. Oh, it my is. God. Okay, and then... Let's go with Mario Kart. There you go. The yeah. original. Yeah. The original Mario Kart. Yep. The That's flat, cool. pixelated, good times fun. But oh. you know what? That was what, how it started. And then I got two two fun ones that are that are kind of off the wall. Well, the one's not really off the wall for me. But uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <laughs> okay. And then NBA Jam. NBA Jam. That would be amazing. They might be able to pull off NBA Jam. They they have NBA Playgrounds coming to Switch, so they they obviously are working with whoever owns some NBA license. Interesting. So, nice, nice. Um, what sucks about NBA Playgrounds? I know it's a little off topic. Um, they released the roster list for it. Yeah. They have Thon Maker on it, but no Giannis. Okay, yeah, I guess. And it's got it's... all-time great players, like there's um, Oscar Robinson and stuff, hmm. but they do not have Michael Jordan. It Well, that's also kind of like Madden not having Bill Belichick. It's probably something to do with naming rights. But Michael Jordan's didn't... in NBA 2K. Giannis is maybe, in maybe every other NBA. Maybe they just couldn't get love the... this. In this game, no. I don't know. I think they're just hold, I think they're just holding back star players for DLC. Oh, and then there's that possibility <laughs> too. More than likely. I mean, come on, they got LeBron James funny. in the game. They could have Giannis if they really want Giannis. Yeah. Thon Maker, true. Jabari Parker's in it. Um, nice. Greg Monroe. Uh, there was one other. Chris Middleton. No, Chris Middleton's no? not in it either. What the hell? Right. So they got like oh Michael Beasley. Ah, so they got what? Beasley, Greg Monroe, <laughs> uh, two bench players. One starter in Thon Maker. We're, no Michael Brogdon, at least. He's going to yeah, be Rookie right. of the Year. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, we're big Bucks fans. We're going to Bucks game tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that another time. Um, anyways, so yeah, those are some great some great SNES games. Uh, how many games do you think this thing's going to have? I think that 30 benchmark is probably about right. Knowing Nintendo, okay. they'll yeah. just be like, eh, 15, we'll call it good. Yeah, probably. Well... Okay, well, let's put it this way. Darren, how much do you think it's going to cost? Probably same as the Mini NES did, I would think. See, I wonder if Nintendo's going to be like, this is a newer generation of a classic system, so we're going to charge you 70 Maybe. It, I mean, and maybe since the you know, they saw how popular you know, right. the Mini NES was, they'll be like, well, maybe if we, we can make a little more profit on this. By that's exactly, up the exactly. To go with it. They, they that, that's even, what I'm saying. You they know, might they even go to 100. Yeah, to be completely honest, they might. I don't think they'll. If they put 50 games, they'll go to 100. I think. Yeah. I don't think they're going to go to 100 at 30 games. I can see them going to 80. I think, but I think it's like the top out because they're going to save yeah. the 100 price point for an N64 class. True. It, but again, it won't. You got to remember, we are talking about Nintendo. Sometimes some of the decisions <laughs> they make may not be the brightest. But despite all that. When they make decisions about their classic things, they sell. That's true. <laughs> then again, the NES Classic Edition was a brilliant idea. Just more stock, please. Right. Um, so I, I guess that's going to do it. You know, if you folks out there have any of your favorite Super Nintendo games we did not mention, bring them up down in the comments. Let us know. Uh, I highly doubt we even compiled a list of 30 games there. We probably topped out at around 15. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it's just we're basing it on games we've played, we've experienced in our past. And Eric's remembering one now that he's about to. Did, I don't know. Did I? Did I say Turtles in Time? Oh no, you did. I did How not did say I Turtles forget? in Time. It, yeah. Not even just okay. Turtles in Time is like the greatest Ninja Turtles game of oh, all time. Yeah, for period. Sure. For sure. Period. And there's like all the other Ninja Turtle games. You know, the ones that came out after the NES and after the original arcade. Oh my god. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Turtles in Time. Sure. I, I mm. just happen to think of that one. How can right I? Now. That's one of the great. Like that's actually probably one of the greatest. Like beat 'em up brawler games. Oh, of all for time. sure. Oh my for gosh. Sure. And, and we don't even want to go into the how the heck you got screwed out of your copy. No, oh, that weren't. That's. If yeah, you that's, guys want that's to know, another story. Oh, you guys want? Yeah, I don't even know. I can almost do a, a whole boss man segment on yeah, you probably how I got screwed out of this. Anyways, yeah. 